which is great. And now some more art, well, nearly. Doctor Who, hey, the TARDIS, Doctor Who, hey, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who. Yes, that was the last thing from the cranial recesses of Bill Drummond. This is the new thing from the cranial recesses of Bill Drummond, the manual how to have a number one the easy way. This book, Mr. Drummond, I take, does actually promise inside if you do everything, you guarantee money back. Absolutely. You get the price of the book back. Definitely. Just the price if, of the book. If you don't get a number one, we will refund the price of the book. Fantastic. You, you, you're taking it seriously here. I find the tone of this book amazing. It's amazing because it is cynical, funny, and scientific at the same time. Is that fair? Yeah. Absolutely. And it's the truth. That's the one thing you missed. It's the it's truth. It's the truth. It's the only book that's ever told the truth about rock and roll. It's ph phenomenal. It takes you how many weeks to get to number one from the start? Three months. Three Twelve months. weeks. You start on a Sunday afternoon and well, the first thing you do is have to listen to the chart show. Is that right? Bruno right? Brooks. Bruno, Bruno you've got to turn on the Bruno Brooks show and uh, listen to him. You've booked the recording studio on Monday morning or at least gone halfway down that road. But then at three o'clock you have to stop booking the studio on the first Monday mm -hmm. to listen to... Steve Wright. Steve, Steve Wright in the afternoon. He is the only guy in the country. He's the psyche of the country. I'll read this. He has been the heartbeat of the British psyche since 1985. You don't even have to like him to be awed by him. This above paragraph is not an attempt at irony. It is for real. If you can't find the angle, you've wasted your money buying this manual. Your angle is a very peculiar angle to find. Yes, but it's, it's the angle you've got to find if you want to have a number one. If you out there want a number one, wherever you are, you've got to find it. He's playing a very strange part in this show tonight, Mr. Drummond. Um, Bill, I want to show, we'll look at this monitor, will you? Judith, can we roll this little piece of tape? Now, this is an important thing I want to show you here. Um, have some sound on this? Yes, do you recognize this, Bill? Do you recognize this? Have some pictures of the man uh, recognizing this? There he is. What are you wearing there, Bill? I I've still got it. I'm wearing a Breton striped uh, fisherman's T-shirt. Fantastic. And I've still got the guitar. You've still got the guitar, and there's our dear friend, Mr. Johnson, looking fantastic. That was 10 years ago. You were in a group. That was big in Japan. Mr. Brody there. Thank you, Jane. You say in this book, on page three, if you're in a group, leave it. Absolutely. Sell the gear. Get out. It, that's if you want to get to number one, you know. Number one single, don't be in a group. Absolutely. Unless you want to be a puppet. That's fair enough. If you want to be in a puppet group, you know, st stay in there. But if you want to have a real number one yourself, get out of the band. But, wh but wasn't there something puppet-like about... Time Lord, isn't there something popular like about constructing a number one single? All we're talking about is having a number one. That's all. Feeling, you know, getting to the top of the castle, just even if it's only for one week like we did, you know, you can look down at the rest and think, we've done it, we've made it. Was it only one week? I'm afraid so. Yeah, it is we're... different to being number two or number three or number four, isn't it? Everybody n remembers number ones. It's forever. Number one is forever. All right. You're playing the a, a funny role here, sitting here talking to me, but I'm enjoying it. But this book, as you said, let's get back to, is very truthful. I love the bit where you talk about the retail strike force. You say, what do you call them? You say, they are the foot soldiers out there week after week in the front line. These are the men. Mm -hmm. Those are the, without them hammering on those, do you know, those shops all over the place, nothing would happen. You say the difference between a 41 and a 39 could be a couple of favors in Doncaster on a wet Friday afternoon. That, people don't know that's what the British industry is, do they? But that's, that's what it is. That's the reality of it. And it's scraping over, over that hill, into the top 40. That this book it. came out this week. Is it going to cause trouble because it is so truthful? I hope not. I hope it's going to, uh, you know... I don't know what it's going to do. When are you going to take that silly moustache off, Bill? No, I'm not going to take it. It's, it's what I'm going to wear for television. I, th I understand moustaches are very important for things on television. Bill Drummond, whose understanding of television does not uh, equate to his understanding of the music business. Thank you, Bill. This is, and we were joking before, it's the most fascinating, it's the best book on pop music in Britain for about 10 years. No joke. Okay, uh, let's just uh, take away for one minute Fashion on Your Fingers in part two, a look at Glove Trends, a Glaswegian in Manchester. One minute, Jimmy, and have a number one.